Welcome back to Front the Bench, everybody. As always, it's Eric, and today we're back with another PSA submission reveal. Uh, this is blind. I don't know the grades. Uh, my buddy's essentially the one that submits everything for me. He knows not to tell me in the grades, uh, except for one. I know one grade, and it is a 10, so it's, one of them is going to be good. There's 19 cards in total. It's a mixture of football and hockey. Um, I did have uh, a part one of this for this $18 value submission. It was all 1990, 1991 Marvel Universe. And I swear if the rest of this order is the same as that, which you can go back and look at that video. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever grade another card again. <laughs> so hopefully it's not the same case. Like, once again, that was just super rough. Um, but we got a little bit of stuff. Also have some uh, HGA crossovers I did too. So we got a Sorokin, a Dylan Cousins, and... Matt Barzell, uh, so this is the, essentially the, I've had seven that I cr cracked and crossed over. So far, I am three and one for getting tens out of the 9.5s that I've cracked. So we'll see how this goes. So open it up. I said a lot of hockey, a lot of young guns. This is back or front? That is back. So... Empty box. So 19 cards in total. I'll just put them off to the side here. And away we go. As always, have the grade revealing tool set up. And in the backdrop, before I forget to say it, uh, we have Philip Rivers uh, contenders kind of retro tribute uh, for his rookie ticket. That's out of 10, the PSA 9. Don't have a PSA slab of Keith Yandel. There's Keith Yandel. Just retired. It's uh, he retired, Chara retired, and PK Subban all retired on the same day. Three, you know, iconic defensemen from the last decade, uh, all gone. And then uh, we have Nathan McKinnon, who just signed his big deal. So starting it off with some hockey. I think the way the submission was, it should all be hockey. And then. Uh, Eventually, we'll get to some football at the end, I think, is how it's probably going to go. It looks like they're all in the same orders when I submitted them. So we have Josh Norris. It is a young gun. It's just a base young gun. No clear-cut, high gloss, exclusive, anything like that. But it is... That's a good sign. Gem Mint 10. So there we go. Josh Norris. Gem Mint 10 for his young gun. Take that all day long. Hopefully I only need two piles. Last time I needed five different piles for that Marvel. I know the cards are from 1990, but still. Uh, next up. Did I show that? No. <laughs> I turned it that way and I thought maybe I showed you guys the grade. It is Pierre-Luc Dubois Future Watch Auto. So here we go. My big thing, I thought he'd be traded to Montreal by now. But Future Watch Auto, still in Winnipeg, still in a Canadian market. Hasn't probably played as well as he did for a couple of years down in Columbus. Let's see if we can get Pierre-Luc Dubois, Future Watch Auto, 2017. Here's another one, Gem Mint 10. There we go. So, I know there's another 10 in here that's not one of these cards. So, as of right now, I've matched my amount of 10s I've got. In this order, as I did for the entire last order. Um, there we go. Another one. As you can kind of see, signatures are always different on this stuff. Looks like you use like a different marker, everything else. This is at the 700 block of the signings. This one was at the 154 block. By the time you've signed 700 of them, I'm assuming you're probably not trying to do as fancy of an auto as you were probably for the 154th one. But here we go. Here, Luke Dubois, Future Watch Auto. And it's going to be. That's a good sign. Another Gem Mint 10. So there we go. Pierre Luke Dubois, Future Watch Auto. That's. I'm happy. That's. This is. This has a. a it's a 180 compared to last time. Last time it was nines. I had three tens for the Marvel. I had like 24 cards, I think. Three. Uh, Three tens, a ton of nines, like four or five eights, two sevens, and a six. So this is 
way better. Uh, Austin Matthews, rookie. This is just your kind of brown back. Opeachy. It's not the young gun, but still, I think, like, it's a pretty good card. There we go. Austin Matthews. And this one I already knew. So, gem mint 10 for this one. That was the one I knew. Uh, he he kind of, my buddy Will that I submit with, that we, we're just, you know, friends that uh, submit cards. And uh, he, he kind of, he hates that I don't like knowing the grades right away. He hates it. So, he always, like, this time he's like, what about, like, one? Can I just tell you one? And I was like, yeah, he, like, fine. Tell me one. Like, it's like Christmas Eve when you open up the, the stocking stuff or you open up the one gift instead of open up, leave the rest for Christmas Day. It's essentially what I got into here with him. So, uh, next up, the other big guy that was from his draft class, Patrick Line. So, there we go. Patrick Line in that same draft class. Remember Winnipeg fans yelling, you know, chanting the line is better than Matthews. I think they might, uh, you know, trade that now if they could. But Patrick Line, Young Guns. There we go. Gem Mint 10 for the Patrick Line. I, hey, this is, this is going so much better. I'm so much happier right now. So here we go. Next one up, Sebastian Ajo. Same uh, set, same year. Sebastian Ajo pulled this from one of the dual pack things from uh, Walmart, I'm pretty sure. If I remember correctly. The ones that they don't really have anymore. MG Holdings kind of did for a little bit. But we have, there we go. We're batting a thousand right now. Sebastian Ajo. Young Guns, PSA 10. This submission's way better. This is such a better mood. I'm so, so much more happier. This is way better. Uh, so here's our first uh, crossover. This was a Matthew Barzell. I actually bought this one. Um, a lot of them I graded myself through HGA. I actually bought this one a while back. And once again, I was just like, I'm not... Probably not going to be able to sell the 9.5. It's just harder. So I'm like, whatever, I'll take the chance. A lot of good subgrades. There we go. Matthew Barzell. It was an HGA 9.5. So 9.5 is all the way around. And then a 10 on the edges. So here we go. It actually came back this time as... There's no G. Okay. At least it's a 9. So there's it is, uh, 9.5 came back a nine. So now we're three for two, three, uh, three tens and two nines in our HGA crossovers. I thought it was pretty clean. I guess that bottom corner there might be it. I think that's really the only one. Maybe that one there, maybe. I don't know. That's fine. Nine. I'm I'm fine with the piles looking like this. A bunch of tens on this side, one nine on that side. I'll I'll take that all day long. Uh, next one up is another one. This one was it Ilya Sorokin. This one I actually didn't have much of a problem with, other than uh, the HG nine point five had a hair in the slab. So other than that, the card was like super clean. Um, 9.5, 9.5, 9.5, and 10. Once again, kind of like that Barzell. Uh, instead of centering was a 10, the edges were a 10 on the Barzell. So super clean card. Like I said, it was, I looked it over. It looks pretty, looked pretty good. I said it was just, even just a hair in the slab. The guy I submitted with last time, 3HG8, was like a group sub. I asked him like three times to let me know if he could do anything. Nothing. Um... Anyways, just useless. Once again, a guy that runs a Facebook page and just a young guy, but kind of got screwed over there. But it came back. There we go. A 10. So there we go. Another crossover. HGA 9.5. Values aren't even close. Um, yeah, there we go. Ilya Sorokin. 
Goaltender number one with the Islanders. Getting a 10. Next up, I to get back to my handy dandy grade revealing tool. We got a Bowen Byram. Colorado Avalanche Stanley Cup champion Bowen Byram in the Young Guns. And this one's going to come back. There we go. Another 10. I'm on a roll right now. There you go. HGA or no HGA in this one, just a straight submission. I had a bunch of Bowen Byrams. Uh, once again, decided to take the chance and submit a couple of them. Looked them over. That one kind of looked the best. So another Bowen Byram. Submitted two of these along with two of the next guy up coming here. So another Bowen Byram. Just another basic Young Guns. Focus. There we go. And <laughs> there we go. Another 10. Man, this is this is how like most of my PSA reveals have been. Like all my grading reveals have been pretty good. I look over stuff pretty good. That Marvel one just like took me and smacked me in the mouth and I got screwed over there. So here we go. Series two from this year. Mason McTavish. When I sent this out, these were like super cheap. Um, I think I, you get them at like 20 bucks a card Canadian at the time. 15 even. Um, I think I maybe even bought one of these from somebody on like a page or did a trade with somebody. But anyways, these were like super cheap when I submitted these. Uh, and then since July, uh, I think start of August was when he had his like big breakout. They had the World Juniors. He won the MVP for the World Juniors. It was him and Connor Bedard. They're doing all this stuff. Obviously, then he had the goal, sa the saving goal uh, in the gold medal game, knocking the puck down on the goal line in the air. So, anyways, Mason McTavish, here we go. Young Gun. Same thing. These are a lot of these, like, chip up top and stuff on the on the upper edge. Um, this one was actually really clean. And... Another PSA 10. The... You're not going to be able to see Philip Rivers here soon, but uh, Mason McTavish, PSA 10. That's awesome. That's, I think he's really good. Once again, he's got the draft pedigree, everything else you kind of want for these cards. Um, you know, could do really well for, you know, the Ducks this year. They got a lot of young pieces. You got Trevor Zegras, so obviously that brings eyes to it. You got Jamie Drysdale, you got him. Uh, you got a bunch of guys over there, so could be a good good card. Maybe hold one, maybe sell one, maybe sell both. Um, but here we go, second one. And this one is going to be... I'm killing this right now. This is awesome. Uh, PSA 10, Mason McTavish. And I'm not excluding any because you can see all the serial numbers line up. It's 406, 407. It's not like I submitted like way more than these. I'm like, I'm just going to make a cool video where I submit a bunch of cards and they all come back and I'll just show the good ones. It's like, no, no, this is, I just, you know, being very fortunate right now. Uh, next one up for our HGA crossover. This is a Dylan Cousins. Uh, it was a 10 on the corners, 9.5 is everywhere else. So a 9.5 on that. Decided to crack it. And resubmit it, this time with the PSA. Once again, looked it over. Really clean card. Thought I had a good chance, but you never know, obviously. That Barzell, I thought was good enough to try to cross over too, but Dylan Cousins. <laughs> there we go. So from an HGA 9.5, which, what's the value on that? Nothing. To a PSA 10. Big price difference, and for... Essentially, this, these cost me, by the time we shipped everything out, shipped it back to me, everything else, we kind of like separate, we you know, combined the shipping for all of us. Uh, you know, if I had more cards, you know, we kind of prorated the shipping and all that stuff, but essentially it ended up being, uh, was it 530 for the for these 19 cards? So it was like $23 a card Canadian to ship these out. Definitely made back the $23 difference in price between a PSA 10 um and an hga 9.5 so that's the end of them though that's the end of my i got some other ps or some other hga cards i'm gonna crack eventually they're all herbert so they're all pc stuff um but they'll all eventually get cracked so now onto the football side of it we're all done the hockey 
That's a that's a good sign. That's a here we go. Uh, this one. So this is a Chase Claypool rate of rookie optic. This is out of 75, 16 out of 75. This is the blue auto. So decently clean card. These like optics are hard on the surface and stuff. Um, you just never know. The centering's off probably a little bit. I think it's a little bottom heavy on here. On the little left heavy maybe. But overall, I thought it was a clean card. Can't complain about that. We'll see what they uh, see what they our luck keeps on going here. Chase Claypool autograph blue. Okay, starting off the football with a nine. So I say this all the time though for twenty three bucks in a nine, even if it sells close to what the raw is. There's no complaining. Oh, you didn't tell me that there was a, whatever, a divot here, or uh, this corner is a little bit more white than what the picture showed, or this edge is a little, no, there's no complaining. It's, I'm selling you a nine. Um, so yeah, that's, for me, it's worth it for that card to get it in there. Auto was a little streaky too, so I didn't grade the auto on that. Uh, next one up, this is my boy. Philip Rivers. This is his Topps Chrome. It's not the refractor or anything. This is just the base Topps Chrome. Once again, this is a PC card. Uh, this will never get sold. Hopefully it came back at 10, but these are hard. Same thing. Surfaces are hard. They're, they scratched up pretty easily. And it's a card from 2004. So here we go. Philip Rivers. And it is... Okay, not bad. It's a 9. So not perfect obviously but you never know with like i said especially these older cards sometimes you get nine sometimes you get uh eight sometimes you get you know, never know the older cards a little harder to to grab so uh next one up zach wilson you guys knew if anybody follows this i've created a lot of zach wilson's uh this one i kind of wasn't sure about the silver though for the mosaic mosaics kind of haven't really popped off as much as i thought they would Seem to kind of lose a little bit. Last year's mosaics, they kind of held their price all the way through. Uh, this year's mosaics dropped a little bit, but still. Uh, here we go. Zach Wilson in the silver mosaic. There we go. Back on the right track. Gem Mint 10. Same thing. 23 bucks worth the sub. Uh, hoping it comes back at 10. The next thing about this year's football is like even a nine that like a lot of times a nine will kind of go for the same price as like what a raw is. doesn't make sense to me. Uh, you put it in a slab, it should be worth a little bit more. Uh, even to say it's not like an eight or something, but a 10, you definitely gain some value on that, uh, especially with, you know, a quarterback. So there we go. First 10 when it comes to football. Next up, uh, was it red? Yeah, red. So this is red mosaic. Another one, once again, Zach Wilson. Once again, say hello to Bo. Say hi, Bo. No, you can't eat that. You gotta get down. Thank you. Um, Zach Wilson, Red Mosaic. Can we keep the tens going? Okay, it's another nine. Same thing. Worth the risk, but at PSA nine. Zach Wilson. Uh, also, I got two cards left, but I was hoping to go to the card show in Halifax this weekend. I still might. Uh, they are letting us know tomorrow, Thursday, if it's going to be a go or not. They're going to make the call sometime Thursday. I don't know. So you guys want to follow me on like Instagram uh, and stuff like that. I will kind of update if I'll be at the show or not, if they're actually having the show. Uh, I know they don't really do a great job advertising it on social media themselves so if you want to find out if the show is still going on in halifax then if it is a go i will go down uh i get two showcases to bring most of these cards will be there uh the marvel cards that from my last submission which makes sure you guys go watch watch that video even though you get to watch a grown man cry um yeah that submission those cards will all be there a bunch of all my other stuff will all be there so make sure you guys do that uh next one up is the heir apparent in Green Bay is one Mr. Jordan Love. He's on the uh, Aaron Rodgers, uh, you know, schedule here. 
So whenever Aaron Rodgers decides to hang it up, but it's a hollow, same thing. I graded his uh, blue cracked ice out of 99 from Prism from his rookie year last time. So I know what, same thing. I don't know if all ball are selling it now. I'll probably hold it until he gets his chance in Green Bay or if he gets traded or whatever happens to him till he gets his shot as being a starting quarterback. I'll probably hold on to this um, just because obviously that will have a big pop at the time. The, this, the Chase Claypool, and the next card, um, my last card, they actually all, they opened up a hobby box last year before the start of the 2021 season of Optic, um, which is like half the price of what it is now for those boxes. And uh, those are my three big, big hits. The Jerry Judy that's coming up, this one, and the Chase Claypool. Those were our big hits. So Jordan Love, hollow. These aren't numbered or anything. It's just a hollow silver. Uh, for if you were like prism and stuff, but hollow for when it comes to optic. There you go. Gem mint hen for the Jordan Love. That's uh that's a pretty good that's it's our second one. Second one, right? We only have two football. Yeah. So football we we've, we've cooled down some. We were uh, we went two for three so far. Or two out of five were, were so maybe this last one will we'll, we'll even it up. We'll go uh, three for three. It's a Jerry Judy. I thought maybe Russell Wilson would kind of have them playing a little better than what they are. Uh, he also got injured on Sunday, so that's not great. Uh, I think he's going to be fine, but uh, he got a little banged up. Same thing, the centering's off a little bit top to bottom on this one. A little bottom heavy, I remember that. A little heavy on the left too, so centering's off a little bit. But overall, not too shabby. This one's out of 179, so 61 out of 179. Blue color match, maybe, if you want to go by the blue on the uh, on the helmet. So um, here we go. Jerry Judy. I got a kitten growling because she's got a spring. It's going to be... Okay, another nine. So we went two for four, uh, or sorry, two for two for six for tens with the football. Once again, it was just more or less take the chance. If it comes back good, great. If it doesn't, once again, just easier to sell in a slab. But uh, I like these piles way better than the last video and how that ended. So we got five, right? One, two, three, four, five. So five. Uh, we have 14 and five, so 14 tens, five nines. That's pretty good. Not going to lie. That's a way better, you know, average of hitting tens in the last video. Um, we were talking about it. I'm probably going to put together another, I already have a bunch of card savers, like another 40 or 50 cards to be sent out. Uh, I'm going to look them over again before I ship them, but a uh, bunch of cards that I'll probably ship out again for another submission for the $22 submission. Once again, 18 bucks, got them back in just under two months. I think it's 59 days exactly as of today. It's pretty good. Once again, $18 American, shipping everything else there back, blah, blah, blah. It was $23 Canadian. I, I can't complain about that. Um, definitely made some money on this one. Definitely going to be happy at the end of the day. Uh, once again, if you guys see me at the card show, make sure you guys come say hi. I'll be vlogging. I'll have this camera stand behind me that you guys are looking at right now. Uh, I'll have that set up. So once again, stop by, say hi. If I'm there, check out the Instagram to make sure you can kind of follow if the show is going to be going on or not. Make sure you like and subscribe here. Uh, lots of videos. I have another box of Series 2 because I cannot get away from it uh, from this year. The Series 1 from this year got announced. So a lot of big guys. Owen Power, Kent Johnson, um, Matthew Beneers. Uh, who was the other guy that got announced or that? Matty Beneers, Owen Power, Kent Johnson. The other guy. Jordan Spence, former Moncton Wildcats in it for the LA Kings. That'll be my chase card for it. So lots of good uh, potential hits for that. That should be coming out in the next you know, month or so. Uh, so anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And for Eric from the bench, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.